Hello, everybody. Alright, I think everything is working. Let me see the sound. Yes, the sound is blasting through your ears. So, welcome, everybody. This is gonna be my third, not my third review, but today I'm gonna review the third chapter of Kaburabachi, the best manga ever written on Earth. Naruto couldn't even come test with this manga so anyway so I'm liking I'm liking it quite well so far I had some complaints about the other chapter but uh, today we're just gonna read that one and hopefully it addresses my main issues so first this is your first time in Tokyo so Hey, this is the first woman in this manga. It took three chapters for us to get our first woman lead. Uh, not lead, but main character. Anyway, I'm just gonna read through it and hopefully I like it. A lot of people told me this chapter was really good. So let's go. Let me see what it's... Let me see what's written um, in the background. Hey Shaku information wanted. Flame symbol on palm of hand. A flame symbol, okay. As you know, Japan is a katana society. While it's legal to own a katana for self-defense, they also make the world more dangerous. Yeah, just like guns in America. Which one is worse? I don't know. That's why the leaders of Yakuza gangs and big corporations are always in search of stronger self-defense measures." And quotation marks. That's where these guys come in. Tokyo has more than a thousand sorcerers, more than any other place in Japan. So I don't know if anyone ever read or watches Eben Zero, but... Um, the author is a character. It's not a dude. It's a it's a woman. I think she's called the Z Zian Mei or something. But yeah, the author is in the manga, and right now it sounds kind of like this. She's directly talking to us. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't have anything more to say. All right, connecting those parties is my job. This it's a request from one of our regulars. Three years earlier. I was doing it, I know. Not bad. It's been a minute. What you been up to? Oh, this and that. So what it'll be? I got you a few juicy options. You can be a bodyguard for the CEO of Se Seikosha. Oh my god. Or a bodyguard for the Renjikai's chairman's daughter. Or security for the Togetsu estate. Oh, oh uh, no, I'm, I'm not here for work today. Oh? You know, have you heard of Kunishige Rokuhira? Of course. What? You think I don't know anything? Did you know he was murdered? Yeah, I was shocked when I heard the news. You see, Shaki Group has claimed responsibility. And I heard they stole some enchanted blades. So, yeah, that's what I figured flame symbol so the first sword is probably a fire wielding sword of some sort so what about it oh well actually that was the first time I learned that Mr. Shiba was connected to Kunishigi Yukuhiro then, then, and then you get a picture of our boy Chihiro. Or should I call him Mr. Kaburabachi? After I heard their story, I agreed to help, but nothing turned up. So bored. It's always the same. Nothing but Yakuza and Meathead sorcerers. Hm, welcome. Alright. That boy looks really suspicious. Or that girl, I don't know. 
so this is a really strong start. Oh yeah, new characters, and she's really cool. Chapter 3, Witness. I really enjoy the the black the black ink in the sky. It looks really nice. It sets a really imposing atmosphere to the manga. Excuse us, so this is when she met with them. Or maybe we are in the present. Probably. Keep it down. I hate that mouth old dudes. So they went to a cafe. Okay, this is pretty bad. This is a bad hiding spot. Oh yeah. I don't wanna hurt I don't wanna her to get hurt in the future. And cafes are so easily destructible. I hate that mouth old dudes. Oh. Hey at your hero, looking cool as always. Hi. So cool, you're amazing. Amazing? Welcome. Thanks for it, contacting us now. So, someone witnessed an enchanted blade, huh? Yeah, she's sleeping in the back. Uh, one detail that I've noticed is that uh, Chihiro's scar, it might look like a complete random sword, I mean, complete random scar. However, it kind of looks, vaguely looks like a sword, you know? So you got where you pick up the sword, and then you got the blade. And I don't know, it just evokes to me smoke. I feel like his sword, I don't know, maybe one of his capabilities could be having smoke uh, properties. And that would be really cool. But it's probably just a normal scar. What? That little kid had a sword? What? This little brat? She's the witness? Oh, okay, she, she's just not a witness. Yeah. She can't out right away. Hello. Why, hello, you need something? I came to inquire about hiring a sorcerer. Excellent grammar, kid. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty weird. How come? It's always weird in mangas when there's a kid and they speak perfect English. The only manga that doesn't follow this trope is Spy X Family. Because Anya, some time to time, she makes some grammar mistakes. And it's pretty cool, I like it. It, it makes it more realistic that sh she's a kid. A bad guy is chasing me. I need protection. I see. In that case, how much money do you have? Zero. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. By the way, what kind of bad guys after you? Mm, a bad guy with the most strongest sword. <sighs> that was a aha moment. Like, that's gonna be on Enchanted Blade, right? Well, I can't know until we hear more, but seems kind of doubtful. Yeah. Huh? How come? From the sound of it, it's highly likely the kid's just goofing around. The most strongest sword? Huh? We can't just swallow some kids, some little kids tail whole. But you said even the slightest little lead. The hippos. Hippos. Cell division. She's talking in her sleep. What kind of dream is that? She's heard of cell division? What is cell division? <laughs> really? A nightmare, huh? Hmm. Oh. Sorcerers! Are you here to protect me? Hold up there, Missy. Let's get some things straight. First off, why is this bad guy after you? Ah, uh, is that all you've got? That didn't take long. Seems like the jig's up. Is she about to laugh? This is no place to play around. Go home. Are you lost? 
I don't have a home. No mom, no dad. Mm -mm. Oh, this is so sad. An orphan, huh? Hey, where is the Shihiro's mom? We never heard about her. She's probably dead. Which makes him also an orphan. Which makes me believe that she's gonna join the team. Okay, well, that's a toughie. I guess we'll take her to an orphanage then. What about food? Have you eaten lately? I... And there it is. And there what is? Yeah, she's growling. You haven't had anything, huh? You want something to eat? Tempura soba. Oh, you mean it? But you already said what what you wanted. Um, this is so nice. So I was trying to find the words in English, and French is called uh, Mossad. It's when you have a, a personality. It's when you have a, an emotion that is like. Let me find a better example. Did you ever watch the movie Upside Down from Disney, I think? There's the sad emotion, right? And she's not really annoying, right? She's mostly indifferent. She's nor gay, nor really annoying. She's kind of in the middle. And I feel like Shihiro has the same personality. It's kind of Mossad. Let me find a trans translation. Alright, I just looked it up. So it can be translated to be not having a personality that is not gay nor likable. And although Shihiro is really kind, and the outside is really like that, he's really Mossad, he's really. Uh, he's not indifferent, okay? I don't want to say that he's indifferent because he actually cares and he shows it. He just, eh, he's just kind of there, and I like it. I don't f feel like there's a lot of characters and recent mangas that has this personality. So anyway, that's what I wanted to say. Shihiro's good at looking after people. I'm hungry. Want me to make something? Oh, would you? You left the light in the front again. You left your socks on the floor again. <sighs> Sorry, he's had plenty of practice with his dad. Here you go. One tempura soba. Yay! And a cold soba for you. I'm Char. Car? No, Char. Probably Char. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, we're doing introductions now? I'm Chihiro. If someone were to ask me if it was yummy, I would say, yes, A car. After we eat, I'll take you to an orphanage. There will be kids to play with there. What? You're not gonna protect me? I thought this soba was to seal, it was to seal the deal. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Who said anything about that? It's like Mr. Shiba said, that cafe is no place to be playing around. I'm not playing around, then tell me why there's a bad guy after you. Because you can't tell me because you haven't got an answer, right? No. I just don't want to tell you. Damn, this dude is pretty stern. He's looking really promising, I, I freaking like this. Well then, tell me about this super strong sword. Clurf, huh? Clough. No. Oh, okay, that's okay. That's an omonatopia. I think that's how you pronounce it. What? A cloud comes out of it. Oh my god! Was I right? A cloud comes out of it. And then she, she heroes car. 
as the shape of a sword. Let me see. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, where is it? Ah, here. It has the shape of a scar resembling a cloud of smoke. Was I right? <laughs> Did I predict this? And then he remembers this. Is this a coincidence? The, a cloud? That's too specific. Hey, you're really not kidding around. I'm not. The bad guy have a flame symbol on his hand. I don't think so. You don't want to order? What do you mean? Just get lost. What? This is a restaurant. Order something or get out. So, it's just the one guy with the sword? No. Shut up! He's got a whole bunch of henchmen. Well, well, I finally found you. But this is a surprise. You have a bodyguard? <laughs> what a pain. Hey, what are you... Invincible. <sighs> what is that? Okay, so that's one of the bad guys. was that? A sorcerer? Run! Car was lying some ones after her. And what Car saw was an enchanted blade. If so, this sorcerer is working with whoever has it. But why is Car no, not now. Car, I'm sorry I doubted you. Still alive and kicking, huh? Well that's problematic. I forgive. Just what is that thing? He has no blades. Please save me. He got it. Oh, this is so cool. This is so freaking cool. Okay. So first let me talk about this design. So he has a flat top or is that a yeah it's a flat top. Looking like Erika's hair. This is such a strange design. He has something that looks like stilettos on his shoes. He's really tall. He has a tie. This is such a strange design, I like it. And he has some dry ass lips. He needs to fucking moisturize them. Look at this, bro. Dry ass lips. Anyway. This is really good. Yeah, I understand why people are saying chapter 4 is gonna be amazing. So much thing to unpack here. First, we got a new character. She has a really nice design. Then, we got a little flashback. And finally, we got a new ally. Then, the quest to find the Enchanted Blades advanced a little bit. Because they met a kid who had intel about it. Then, the freaking town looks really dope. Looks really gloomy. I like this atmosphere. And we got some more interaction between the characters that we know. And I really like the cheerfulness of this new character. Yeah, I almost forgot her name, but she's called Hinao. Oh, I got you. This is looking really good. Yeah, I'm not that good at making first impressions videos. But, yeah, what else can I say? It's promising. It's better than the two last chapters. Because I feel like the pacing in the two last chapters was way too fast. It's like, chapter 2 was like, we found an enchanted blade. And then chapter 3 is like, no, actually we might not have found the enchanted blade. I thought we were gonna 
you know, go straight into battle mode and fight for the Enchanted Blade. But I'm happy to know that nope, it was just a red herring. Uh, it was not a red herring. It was true, but it didn't happen as fast as I expected. And now he's gonna need to save her. And after that, I feel like the story is gonna take a slower approach, which which I think it definitely needs right now. Because in only three chapters, we lost one of the main characters we had a time skip. This is going way too fast. And I feel like this chapter fixed this a little bit. So this is my first impressions slash review or whatever. I'm pretty sporadic in my thoughts. As you notice, I pose a lot and then I think and then I come back and then I interrupt myself a lot. But I hope that you enjoy this. Oh yeah, about this guy. His ability is really strange. So, explosion, huh? I don't know what those things are called, but they are pretty creepy looking. What is that? Strange. Anyway, see you for the review I'm gonna write about chapter 1, 2, and 3 and make a condensed review. Because I don't feel like a lot of people enjoy uh, first impressions anyway. See you guys.